Hey Antonio, I went to have my eyes tested the other day and the optometrist puffed air into my eyes. I've always wondered what sort of test this was and why it needed to be done. Thank you for asking. For those of you watching, you may already know the answer to this one. The air puff test is another way of just measuring the risk of glaucoma, which is the leading cause of blindness in developed countries. Here, here's why. The general purpose of performing any test in the clinic is to obtain a reading that is useful in the diagnosis of an issue. In the case of puffing air into people's eyes, we are looking at the intraocular pressure, which is just a fancy term for pressure inside the eye. We know that individuals who have high intraocular pressures are more likely to develop glaucoma. But the main problem is that some tests require a lot of resources and cannot be readily conducted. This is because they are either too costly to operate or the machines are too bulky. This is why we need tests that will give us the necessary info quickly, reliably and without costing too much, otherwise it would be inaccessible to the patient. Cheap and reliable tests are what we call screening tests. There are many of them around, and you may have already come across a few of these already. Take for example, cervical and breast screening tests for detecting cancers, or diabetic screenings in the eye for diabetes. The air puff test, or more correctly, the non-contact tonometry test, is a very good example of this. It works by shooting concentrated air onto the cornea, and the machine observes how the cornea rebounds from this puff. If the eye has low pressures, then the cornea will flatten quite a lot. But an eye with high pressures on the other hand, hmm, not so much. It's like when you inflate a balloon, the more pressure there is inside, the harder it is to press onto it. It is this difference in rigidity that allows us to determine the pressure inside the eye. But Antonio, I went for an eye test the other day, but they didn't do this puff test. Don't get me wrong, there are multiple ways you can measure pressure, and your optometrist may have just used a different method. But they all work off of the same principle, how much effort is required to flatten the cornea. Let's take a moment to think about how this can be done. Other methods of flattening the cornea involve physically touching the ocular surface, and it just so happens that the cornea is the most highly innervated part of the body, meaning it is sensitive to the tiniest bit of sensation. Which means that if we were to physically apply a measuring apparatus on the eye, we will need to fully numb the eye beforehand, in the form of anesthetics. And while this method is the gold standard in tonometry and is performed by optometrists and ophthalmologists in many clinics, anesthetics can be very costly and they will sting your eyes like mad, making your trip to the clinic unfavorable. So for the purpose of making healthcare more accessible to the population, some clinics will choose the air puff test. I have yet to find anyone who enjoys doing this test, but it is very much necessary. And it hurts to see people freak out every time I tell them I'll be shooting air into their eyes. But Antonio, I cannot stand that test. I freak out just from the thought of it. Can I opt out of this test? Sure, if you feel uncomfortable doing this test, then let the operator know that you do not wish to partake. The operator cannot force you to do something without your consent. However, one thing you have to keep in mind is that by not doing this test, you will run the risk of developing glaucoma, which is not a pleasant disease to have. But we'll be covering that in a future video. So, my suggestion is, bite the bullet on this one. You'd rather have your eyes puffed a few times than to unknowingly develop glaucoma only to later have surgeons resort to eye surgery. And remember, glaucoma is asymptomatic, which means that you will never know whether you have glaucoma without having your eyes looked at. The recommended time frame for a routine eye test is every two years, so if you haven't already, visit your optometrist and don't risk blindly losing your eyesight. But that's been it from me. If you have any other questions, then feel free to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. And I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.